The German philosopher Goethe put it like this, treat a man as he is and he will remain as he is. Treat a man as he could be and should be and he will become as he could be and should be. At our annual couples planning retreat, I often say this to the husbands, treat your wife as she is and she will remain as she is. Treat her as she could be and should be and she will become as she could be and should be. And yes, in case you're wondering, I give the same message to the wives as well. Sports coaches also know this secret formula. To bring out the best in athletes, interact with them one or two notches above their current level of performance. Give them the benefit of the doubt. Interact with them as if they were already a little bit better than they actually are at this exact moment. Speak with them and encourage them and let your time with them cast a positive vision in their mind of who they really are. In other words, who they really could and should be. Too often, our interactions with our spouses and our kids reinforces them at their worst, not at their best. We may be right in our assessment, of course, but what's our reward? If we see a negative vision, what do we think we will end up reaping down the road? Instead of building up our loved ones, it's easy to unintentionally knock them down. We are all bundles of potential that can be either multiplied or divided by the people around us. Keep this in mind. When we look at each other, we see only what is fully realized and developed as of today. But that is an incomplete picture. To be accurate, who we really are must also include who we could be and should be. Our unrealized potential is still part of who we are. And one of the most generous and loving things you or I can do for another human being is acknowledging, affirming, and encouraging that potential despite any temporary evidence to the contrary. Today and every day, treat your loved ones as they could be and should be. This is Tommy Newberry because mindset makes all the difference.